Hi everyone, this is Teacher Judy, your virtual teacher. We will talk about properties of materials, whether they are useful or harmful. But before that, let us have a short review. The properties of matter are classified into two categories, general properties and special properties. The general properties are observed and present in all phases and kinds of matter, such as mass, volume, and density. The special properties of matter pertain to the unique properties of one phase or kind of matter, such as brittleness, elasticity, malleability, porosity, among others. Now that we know the general and special properties of materials, let's take a glimpse of how useful and harmful materials are. When is a material useful? Materials are considered useful when it serves a purpose. These materials may have properties such as durability, resistance to water, heat or acid, flexibility, elasticity, and hardness. Example is a glass container. Some useful materials can also be reused. Take for example, a container for any solid or liquid material. When it is already empty, it can still be used for other purposes, as a flower vase, a coin bank, or a house decor. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has a property that makes it reusable. Now, when is a material harmful? Some useful materials may also bring hazards. For example, broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. Toxic substances may also be present in the things you commonly used, such as paints, cleaners, fumes, gels, or powders. These materials may bring harm to your health, environment, and other organisms when not used properly. That's why you should take precautionary measures when handling and using different materials. Here are examples of toxic substances. They have symbols. Take a look on the symbols used for these substances. We also have here hazardous household products. Now let's have some trivia. Did you know that bleach, and killer, and gasoline are poisonous, commonly found at home? But plenty of other toxic or hazardous chemicals fill our shelves and cupboards, and some of them may surprise you. Hairspray, for instance, is highly flammable. Now that you know that there are harmful substances at your home, list at least four substances you found at your own home. Let's do the simple activity. You just have to identify which materials are useful and which materials are harmful. Good luck! Let's do more. Complete the table below. 
Put a check mark if the material is useful and X if harmful. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learn more about harmful and useful materials you found at home.